Hey everybody, Mickey Pinstripe here, the Bourbon and Rye Club. Now, a lot of people coming into bourbon, they want to get into the good stuff right away. They don't want to try a bunch of other stuff to find out what they like. They want to go right to what they see on the Instagram and the Facebooks. So they want to try the George T. Stag, or they want to try the Van Winkle Lot B, or, oh my God, Elmer. Oh my God, Rock Hill Farms. Michter's Unicorn. Well, let me tell you something. There's a lot of really good bourbon out there that doesn't cost a shit ton of money. Those bottles I just showed you, every one of them's over a hundred fucking dollars. So why spend a hundred fucking dollars when you can spend 20 on Wild Turkey 101? One of the best bourbons out there for the dollar that you can find. Or Eagle Rare. 10 years, 10 years, used to be a single barrel. It's not anymore, but still a 10 year bourbon for under 40 bucks. Come on now. How about this old geezer, old granddad 114 from Jim Beam. This is like $25 in most places, even in Tech Bro, California. Uh, some places it's 32, but those places can go fuck themselves. So you should really try stuff like this. Rather than worrying about, oh, George T. Stagg, I hear it's the greatest whiskey ever. Uh, maybe. Also, you really want to show off to some friends that think they know whiskey and they haven't really tried everything, get them a bottle of this. Henry McKenna, bottle and bond, single barrel, 10 years old. 10 years old. What were you doing 10 years ago, punk? That's right, nothing. This went into a barrel 10 years ago. Now it's ready for you to open it up, take a sip and impress your friends. So stay away from that high price shit. Wait a while until you actually have like a good solid foundation and understanding of what kind of whiskey you like before you start spending big dollars and trying things and go, well, it's really not as good as I'd hoped. Good stuff comes in small bottles for small prices. Good stuff also comes and small bottles for very big prices. Try the little stuff first. You won't be disappointed. That way, when you're out there hunting for the pappy and all that, and you can never find it, you won't cry because you'll have plenty of McKenna laying around or Eagle Rare. Or one of my all-time favorites, Russell's Reserve, also made by Wild Turkey. This shit is incredible. If you haven't tried it, well, Argo. Yeah, Argo.